I'm Gemma King and I'm Associate Lecturer for MGTS 1601, which is a large undergraduate course at the Business School. So typically part of this course we would do group work, which meant that the tutors had to write out the um, results or the marking criteria um, five or six times per student. So we decided to go to online marking, which we found was a really good move and it cut down a lot of time. Okay, so there were many advantages to going to online marking because typically we'd have um, lots of group work and these students would sometimes be absent, change groups or not turn up. And often we had students from different countries that would put their names back the front and it was really hard to keep track, track of these students and give them the appropriate marks. So when we went on to online marking, the tutors could put in all their names in specific groups and then they could use a bank of comments and just cut and paste those comments into those um, marking criteria. Then the students could just go online and look at the one copy. So this was much better than what we had to do before, which was print off multiple different copies for each of the um, group participants. So some tips for online marking. What you should do is get your tutors to send you a bank of comments that they typically use and you can put that inside the marking criteria and then the, the other tutors can just cut and paste them into their results. Also, when you are forming the groups, it's best that you use consistency in the headings, like here for instance. So when we set up this group, we would put the tut time first, the name of the group, um, the day and the time and the tutor. That way there's no confusion and it's all very systematic. Um, another tip was uh, definitely go to the training. It's um, really, really helpful and the guys in the team are so knowledgeable and they make it seem so much easier than if you're trying to learn it yourself. So I really recommend go to the workshops.